Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another BJ and Co Minecraft tutorial video. Today we are working on continuing our Dungeons Dragons and Space Shuttles adventure and knocking out some quests. We are going to work starting in uh, quest line one and working on some ores and smelteries as well. Trying to knock out the stuff to keep us progressing. Sorry the audio is a little off today. Uh, did a full record of all this stuff and had all of my sources muted. Womp, 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 womp. So, I'm giving you, giving you a nice narration of everything that uh, went on because it's a little hard to go back. But we want to work with the Mechanical Artisan first. Show you guys how that one works because it is a... Uh, uh, interesting tool to help you automate stuff. We're going to hit the sawmill up as well and the uncommon backpack and hopefully the solar panel tier two. Spoiler, we're going to unlock it but not do it. But definitely want to hit some nickel first. Um, try to get some progression going on. And nickel is an interesting ore. You can find it uh, if we dig it up here in the JEI world gen. Um, it's a great place to look to find where you can find ores. And for the most part, this is a deeper ore found it around you know 24 or lower y level it really depends what ore you're in it's kind of interesting that way but uh, if you step through all this you can see the different areas and what uh, where to find it and just kind of look at what color stone you have around and you can look through this and see where it is i know mine's mine's the green so that's what i built on that that shizite stuff but uh, first and foremost let's get uh, nickel and uh, if you throw the nickel into your smelter that we did earlier, you can uh, get nickel. And that opens up, gets us uh, the ability to get a bow or nickel axe with efficiency or unbreaking. I want to go with the bow here. The bow is a... Uh, we've got the tinker's tools already for the axes, so I'm not too worried about not getting a bow. The next step is getting a nickel pickaxe head to progress this along. And... Uh, that is relatively easy. All we have to do is make sure we've got some nickel in our smeltery and grab our pickaxe cast, drop it on the table, and I've already preloaded this with enough nickel to get going, and boom, drop it in, make it happen, see where it all goes, smelt it on up, and then we'll use this to actually upgrade our pick because the benefit and the reason that smeltery has this or man of steel next is these are kind of the first two ways that we can get up to the obsidian mining level which allows us to mine obsidian level um, or mine obsidian itself which is kind of nice so we get a sword blade and some coins out of this not too shabby whatsoever and this does open the obsidian quest to mine obsidian so we can create another portal and progress even further <laughs> um that's really nice. So we do, we're going to go upstairs and let's switch out our uh, axe head right now. Because currently we're sitting at an axe that's, uh, I think it's wood, wood, and iron. So nothing too crazy. And you can see here showing the mining level is obsidian. Currently our mining level is with the ecological and magnetic is only diamond, as you can see here. Um, so initially we're at mining level diamond mining speed 4.5 attack 4 modifiers 4 and if we swap this in mining level goes up to obsidian we get more durability almost double the durability mining speed's the same but the attack goes up a little bit in the modifiers and it gives us few which is uh kind of i i thought it a neat little nick in time activity where you can actually set with this tool you can set a portal location and the if you have eight ender pearls in your inventory if you're about to die you'll teleport to that location so it's like a get out of jail free card i think really cool to throw on some like one of your weapons or something don't know if i love it on a pickaxe and i wonder if it works whether you have it or not but uh it's something i definitely want to look into at some point and see but we've got where the, we'll do the obsidian next one we want to jump to main quest line one and get back to that mechanical artisan because it's going to kind of help us get what we need to progress further and uh we should have everything we need already the neat thing with the mechanical artisan is um or not the neat thing but we're going to need an extra table so i don't know if you notice my inventory i've already got a second engineering workshop but to uh we've already set up this design workshop attached to our other workshops and put the blank patterns into it so now what we want to do is we want to go to our engineers workshop and set the recipe we want to start using in the artisans workshop so we're doing the basic control circuit here we've got everything we need in there including the fluids that we need and the tools and you can see in the top left here it gives us the ability to actually pull a design pattern out uh, so we're going to grab that one and get what we need now 
to make the crystal circuits, we need transistors, and transistors are not uh, an easy thing. They're a workshop thing as well. So we're going to get a plan for that one too. So we can auto craft multiple pieces. And here we go. We got that one too. So now let's take that and all of the items that we need, and we're going to head on up to the mechanical artisan as well. And that mechanical artisan is set. Oh, see, I'm even grabbing the super glue to take with us. Better, better safe than sorry. This needs to be connected to our power. So we've got it up in our little hodgepodge of a power generation that really needs some cleanup at this point. And the bottom is the power converter. That's where it collects things from the power source as well as you can actually put things in or out of the system for its inventory by going into the power converter and you can stack multiple power converters if you want to get more inputs and outputs but the mechanical artisan at the top is the piece that does all the actual work so first thing we need a workshop like i said depending which one we need we might even have to make multiple mechanical artisans to use multiple workshops going down the line to automate things but right now the engineer is the most important we're going to throw it in as soon as we do that it's got a power bar at the top you can see we're full and then this is kind of its duration whenever that blue bar fills it'll do a crafting if it's got the materials it needs to do that so that's great that's that's the first step the also has some room for some modifiers on the bottom there underneath the blue bar this page is where our patterns go <clears throat> we can just drop the patterns it looks like we can have what nine different and then there's different things you can do with it so the keep mode will force the whatever's produced in it to just stay in here on the slot right below the pattern itself the manual mode means that something can actually pull that inventory out of the the device and the if it's set to inventory it'll actually drop it re right back into the inventory of the mechanical artisan so right now we're just going to leave everything as base uh, we'll adjust it a little bit later but here this third tab with the chest is the inventory for it the bucket is where you place all the fluids for it so we're going to have to make sure that we put our um, fluids we need and then the last page is where the tools go and spoiler i forgot to grab the tools oh silly ben silly ben so there we go we're going to drop our um what do we get super glue in this one we've got super glue we're going to fill it up because we're going to need the super glue to do the crafting um and what's nice is this thing can store three different fluids at the same time so you know it's always a pain to put fluids in take fluids out this gets rid of that problem which is so nice so so nice uh so we got that filled now we need to fill the inventory with stuff uh so we're going to start with the transistor we're going to get the iron in there we need the two gold the four iron we need the paper we need some redstone as well as we need our basic circuit plates which i forgot of what i actually needed on the bottom there so now we got those in there and this is something you can put extras if you want it doesn't hurt to have more than you need which is fantastic and then when the bar fills up it should work and i get super perplexed here why it's not working because i'm a complete numpty and realized that uh well eventually here i will come to the realization that uh i am that numpty and forgot that i need tools because these workbenches need tools to work and we don't have any tools in anything right now and then i click you know when do i realize I think right quickly here I do. <laughs> it's so fun to watch me struggle. This is, oh, here we go. This is probably where I realize, oh, I moused over the tools, right? Still need those. Oh, silly Ben. So we're going to go downstairs, pick those tools back up. The nice thing is they're already in the workbench lined up where we needed to them. So not hard to grab what I need. And then we're going to take this back up and we're going to make sure that this system can work, which is awesome. Like I... The first time I played Dungeons, Dragons, and Space Shuttles, this didn't exist. And it was so frustrating to just keep going back in and back in and remaking the things like the basic control circuits and transistors. So the fact that we can now um, do this automatically, you can see there we've now built the transistors there. And I'm switching this to inventory mode now because we need transistors to build the basic control circuits. I don't really need them out of there for any reason. So I want them dropped back into the inventory so that when they... Um, get built they get dropped in there and they're ready to go for when we have enough stuff to make the basic control circuits now for the control circuits i'm dropping the rest of the stuff in that we need so we need the circuit plates we need electron inventory we need some silicone and there we go it's made we've got the basic control circuit so we can go on and work on the sawmill next so really now that this is set up it's just a matter of putting the base resources in to get things moving uh i will have to set up some basic 
crafting to get the things like the electron and that sort of thing. But really happy to have some automation there. And guys, subscribe. If you haven't done it yet, subscribe. We'd love to have you part of the community. Uh, every little bit helps grow the channel so we can put more content out for you and let you know when all the new content goes live. So we're going to accept that one and move on in to next. We've got the Uncommon Backpack because you got to have more space. Got to have more space. We've got like 18 in our backpack now. Let's push it up to 33. And really the backpack's not too crazy, not too crazy to go. Um, but I love it for adventuring. I mean, Minecraft inventories are not too big. Having a nice size backpack, especially in a pack like this where you can find so much stuff from adventuring in the different uh, chests that you find throughout, we want to make sure that we've got that backpack. So going into the baubles is where you can pull off your existing backpack because you're upgrading it. You're not just building a new one. We need a bunch of leather, I think 13 leather. We need 13 iron plates and we need a chest first step we have to make is making an iron chest for the middle of this then this is iron plates stupid iron plates not ingots <laughs> around the outside of a chest and uh throw that back in and then we need to go to the advanced crafting and use your jei guys it's so easy instead of having to manually bomb everything we need the iron in the middle or the iron chest in the middle iron plates kind of around it the backpack just below it and then fill the rest of the spaces with the leather and that gets us what we need but leather if you if you need to make the leather these are the ways you can craft it. I mean, rabbit hides together is how I made some of them. But really, what you really want is to smelt things together. And you can do cooked meats, work really well, but really it's prepared flesh, which is the, the best one. It's four zombie meats, um, just in a crafting table, or rotten flesh, sorry. And then you put those in a crafting table, it makes one prepared flesh, you smelt it, and it's leather. Super easy. If you're killing zombies, you are in golden space right there. Get your backpack, throw it on, and there's your 33 glorious spaces. Mmm, so good, so good, so good. And really, the backpacks are not that hard to upgrade at this point. Our next backpack, we need, what, 13 gold, 13, um, yeah, 13 gold, 13 leather, and then we need 13 diamonds, 13 uh, leather in order to get up to the highest level that has 99 slots. I mean, I feel like one more upgrade to the the blue version uh, would be plenty. It gets you up to 66 gold. You should have a little bit of that floating around as long as you've made your cast and stuff. Like, don't, don't jump to it unless you're going crazy on um, exploring and you're not doing a lot of mining. I'm just going to grab the enchanted book here. It wasn't really any great... Um, things that I saw to that. And then our next one here, we it opens up the basic drawers. I love drawers. They are single unit storage very easily. They're made out of wood, right? You need you need planks for the the oak for the chests. You need planks to go around them. Super super easy to make and they can store more than a chest can. Um so there is really no reason to not go this route. Um you can actually work with them even better later on with having the um words are hard uh controllers and stuff so you can just pipe into one spot and it stores it to whichever drawers are connected um so really nice gets us a hopper too hoppers are are very handy to move goods around or start it with some automation if you're trying to automate a furnace or something so having hoppers is great easy one to pick up and it's part of our progression so we don't want to we don't want to lose that anywhere we're gonna have to come back and deal with the um some of the other pieces but right now we're now working towards our sawmill and i'm just going to drop down the um drawers myself it's really nice you can put them like the storage crates right up against the roof and it doesn't uh, doesn't end up blocking like it does with chests so really handy there and uh, usually the best thing to do is start your cobblestone in them you can just rush it, you know double tap right click and drops everything in your inventory of that item into the box i love them drawers are so good drawers are so good cheap great storage um, so you don't have a schmozzle of everything all over the place. As always, just going to do a bit of cleanup so I can work on the next steps of everything. But yeah, it's the sawmill we're going towards next. And the sawmill is really nice because it is a, as long as you've got power, it's a repeatable piece. So this is everything we're going to need. The motor, the silicone plates, the bronze, the iron plates, the cleaning tubes that we used last time, the 10K coolant cell, um, we need an oak chest and we need a basic control circuit. So all these pieces that we've got here, ready to go. You know me, I prep, I prep for this. I'm, I'm a prepper when it comes to Minecraft. So we've got it all ready to go. And the sawmill, yeah, it, it's, if you've got the power for it and you're automatically generating power, there's no durability on it. So it works so much better 
then using the handsaw and having to replace and replace and replace. So I'm super happy that we've got this locked up. And it goes from, you know, a log getting you two lumber to a log getting you six lumber, which is huge. Like three times the output. I love it. That compared with the uh, the excavator that I want to get from the tool forge uh, that will fell a tree in a single shot. Beautiful. Beautiful. Just just lovely. Um, power is always an interesting thing with this one. I gotta I gotta set up a bit more of an actual power storage with some conduits leading out to my power so I can clean this up. Um, but base building has been so so low. And here we go. Sawmill's working. Um, works for more than just wood as well, but wood is is my go to first thing. So here six and sawdust. So that'll help to get the electron and everything. So working again towards more automation of everything which is just glorious. Glorious, glorious, glorious. So sawmill is done. And our next piece that we'd want to touch is our solar panel, right? That's that's next. That's next. Ooh, claim, claim it. Get it all, get it all. So next is our solar panel. Because we can get the squeezer, but we need some more basic control circuits. I need more electrine for the basic control circuits. So it's going to take a little bit. I don't want to grind that out on, on stream. Got to get my sawdust, my copper, or pulverized copper and redstone. And here we have, we're working towards the magma crucible. And the question for you guys, you got to answer it down in the comments below, is uh, the line. There's a line. And I always, whenever I see the liquid, or the magma crucible, I always just think of liquid magma. Liquid magma. Who, who says that? What movie? How old are you guys? Do you know? Do you know <laughs> what that's from? let us know down in the comments below and we want to do the the solar panel but we just realized we need more control circuits we don't have them and we don't have the base resources to necessarily make them right now we're not going to make you sit through that right now i'm going to grind out some of the items and we'll start with this in the next episode and in the meantime you guys are going to join us on twitter so you can see see the fun stuff that we've got going on there it's always good you're going to do it do it do it do it you know you want to but yeah, um, the thing I love about the solar panels, they're set and forget, right? They're constantly generating power for you. The base one gets us one FE per tick. The solar panel level two, not much. Like, it's not super expensive. It's iron, really, to get this going and the control circuits. Uh, the silver is the most expensive piece of this, to be honest. You know, three silver for the first one, three silver for the second one. So six silver to go up. That's probably the most expensive thing in this. And level two gets you eight FE per tick. So it's eight times as good as the first one totally worth it set it and forget it and as long as you you know aren't in nighttime all the time you'll be fine so here i'm just looking at you know talking about what we've already talked about how i need to grind this stuff out for the future so we can get this going but doesn't look too bad that'll definitely be something that we tackle right away next time once i got a few more control circuits going which is great so this is good. I mean, we, we've we knocked out a lot today, um, but we do need to start working towards this canola press. Uh, it's one of the quest line pieces that are kind of gates other things, and we'll open up some more power generation with the oil generator. So looking forward to hitting up that one. We do have one in Misco Agriculture that we got done today um, by just collecting a stack of oak wood now that we've gotten this far. Just some coins and loot bags, nothing too crazy, but uh, these are good ones to knock out just for a little bit of more currency if you need to buy things later on. I, I like them, and it helps you understand how mystical agriculture works. Always one of my favorites. Um, once we start getting a harvester, I'm going to have mystical agriculture coming up the yin yang so we can auto craft and everything we need if we have storage for it. It's always the struggle, right? Always the struggle. Uh, we're going to get obsidian done for the start of next episode, too. I'm going to go mine some of that up. I know everybody knows how slow that is, so we, we're not going to make you suffer through it. We're going to get the solar panel done. We're going to work on the squeezer and try to find some industrial hemp as well because that's another line of this. You can see it's that different border that gates uh, future progress, so we're going to need this to get to Tier 2. So got to make sure we get it done. Appreciate you guys all being here. Uh, it's lovely having you here. If you guys want to join the community, check out the Discord link down in the description below. Hit that sub button so you get notified when everything goes live. And we would love to see you in future videos. It's always fun chatting with you. Don't forget to answer our question. What movie is that line from that we talked about regarding the liquid magma? And uh, we hope to see you in the next one. Bye!